morning. Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone? So I got my second device up and running. And let's see. Oh, there I am. We are live. So good morning, Roxanne. Good morning, Lemmy. Good morning, Kim. How is everyone? Coffee cup of the day. My son handmade this one. And I love that he put the little thumb thumb thingy. You guys have seen this one before, but obviously one of my faves because my son made it. Also, it's huge. Mm. Good morning, Karen. So we're going to chat for a minute and let people filter in. Oh, there was a bird in my window, like a whole bird <laughs> sitting on the window ledge. Happy spring, you guys, even though Ohio does not feel like spring. I swear we had warmer days in February than we're having in March currently. But yesterday, first official day of spring. So happy spring. Good morning, Jazdia. Good morning, Beth. So can't wait to show you guys my um, altered book. Let's put this back here. So I picked a much thicker book this time. And if you followed along last year, yeah, Jazz, yeah, there was snow, a bit of a dusting of snow on my car when I went out there yesterday morning, yesterday morning. Hey, Helen. Hi, Apple. So last year for the Altered Book Project, I had picked a book that was pretty thin. It was a book of poetry. Well, it was one poem throughout the book with graphics. And um, it was over 100 years old. Completely fell apart by the end of the year. So this year I went with one of the Reader's Digest condensed books. These end up in the landfill a lot. But it's much thicker. So I went through, do you guys see the thinness? I went through and took out this many pages. Now I will keep these to use maybe back in this project or in other projects, but made it much thinner. And I watched a couple of videos trying to figure out if there was some secret formula to taking pages out. Some people just rip them. Some people try to take um, bits of a section. At, like It depends on whether or not your book is sewn or glued or whatever, I finally just gave up and I started ripping out pages. So my formula was kind of like eight to 10 pages I left in and five pages I ripped out. But if I came to, cause this book does have um, some pictures in it. So if I came to a picture, I just left them in. I left all the pictures just to give me something a little more fun in the book. So if there were, good morning, Roxanne. So if there were illustrations in my book, I left them. So there were, might've been some points in time where I only tore, up, tore out two pages and then I came to an illustration. And so then I went another, you know, eight to 10 pages before I tore out more pages. So I have made it significantly thinner than it started out. Here's the amount of pages I tore out of it. I have no idea if I tore enough out. We will see as we, good morning, Kraken, as we add things back in. But last week's prompt was to make a page with words that inspire you. And so I got online and I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted to do, but I got online and I'm like, let me just look up some inspirational phrases. And I came across... Um, I think it's down here at the bottom of the page. Madewithhappy.com. And she had six or eight 
pages of free downloadable, um, just like inspirational phrases, right? So I downloaded them all because I wasn't sure which ones I would like. The only thing that I had to do was sign up for her, new her newsletter. You can unsubscribe if you don't want to do that, but that was the only thing I had to do. They were free, free PDF downloadables. And you know, I do everything on my phone. So um, I downloaded them all, picked the ones that I liked. And here's our very first entry in our altered book project of 2024. I did on the very front cover page. So this color, that is what the front page looked like already. And then I cut out each of these and pop them onto a variety of purple because we all know purple is my favorite color. Stuck some flower stickers in there because it's spring. And there you go. So that was our first one in our altered book project. So if you are doing a thicker book, you might want to tear some of the pages out. This will give us room to add stickers, to you know, do all of the fun things that we did last year. So that's what's going on with that project. And let me set these down here. We are going to go ahead and draw this week's. And I still haven't made up any new ones, although I am starting to gather ideas and I think that once I have a bit more energy, I will be making up some new ones instead of just using last year's. All right. We've got a pink. No, it's a purple, lavender, pink, purpley pink. Use the word strong to inspire a page. And I do remember doing this one last year. I don't think I did last week's last year, but use the word strong to inspire page. So we've got two word ones right out the gate. That's interesting. And I did want to show you guys some of the things that my niece got me for scrapbooking, junk journaling, whatever you want to call this. Sticking stickers to pretty papers. She picked me up this little holder and I needed this for specific use. It's got a tray in the top. I like, I've got an idea for upcoming pages that I want to do. I like to start to pull together the stickers as I'm going through my sticker books and looking for other things. And because I'm going to do a blue theme first. So see all those stickers there are blue inspired. And then if you open this and you look here, I've got a packet of blue paper. Yes, I love that it is clear. So she picked that up for me and she also, this came from Ross. So you don't have to be in a craft or hobby store in order to get things that will work for your craft and hobby. That came from Ross and um, I have picked up blank art books from Ross before too. This did come from Joanne Fabric. Their paper packs are on sale this week and it's so stinking pretty. And she got this for me too. She had a coupon and these were on sale. So, and it's this size. And the reason I like it is because it fits in this book. Plus it's just pretty and it's a lot of purples. Um, I did want to show you a few of the pages I've done in the last week. Let me see. I think you saw all those. This was my latest one and my absolute favorite. But this is using a page from that new paper she got me. Isn't that pretty? Do what is right, not what is easy. And then my, my little one, I 
I don't remember which of these you guys saw. I don't know if you saw these two purple pages. And then I wanted to use this um, for your bronzy paper just because it was so pretty. So then my sister had the copper and I found the silver in my scrap stuff. If I save, if a piece of paper is like this big, I save it. I save almost all of my scraps. It's got to be pretty tiny for me not to save it because this, this book's so small. This one's my smallest book and this one's my biggest book. This one came from Ross last year. No, maybe the year before. And this one is my rainbow one. So I'm doing like all of each page is going to be color inspired. So you guys saw the purple page and you saw the yellow, but I did a forest green inspired page. And then after I got it done, I'm like, did I do enough green on the page? Ooh. And I think the next one I'm going to do in here is going to either be red or orange before I do the blue page. And then final one I want to show you guys today is this one. My daughter had gotten me this and I loved that it already had uh, vintage inspired things on it. And it kills me that scrapbooking manufacturers are still calling vintage the Victorian style and that's the antique <laughs> and they've been printing and producing that stuff since the 90s calling it vintage when it's now it's the antique this is 2024 can we please start labeling things vintage that are from like the 1950s and start labeling that Victorian looking stuff as antique. It just irritates me. But this one, I'm not doing any like inspirational phrases in. I'm just doing some of my favorite vintage stickers or vintage paper kind of things. So that is all that this one is going to be. Although I don't have a lot of 1940s, 1950s, 1960s looking um, paper. I have a lot more like of the stickers and stuff, but not paper that goes with that time period. But that's what this one's going to be. That's what I'm working on with that. Ooh. So yesterday I got the very last of my stuff out of the old house. And my brother and his wife came over and helped me hang, uh, oh, thanks, Jazzia, hang like the heavier pictures that I needed help with. And so I'm hoping today to get the rest of my art up on the walls and then I will finally feel like I'm 100% moved in. So that's what I'm working on. So today is a Barbie's birthday and I haven't talked to her. I sent her a message this morning. I haven't seen her in the chat. In case she's in the chat, make sure you say happy birthday because she's at work. So it hope sometimes she has me on in the background. So if you say happy birthday, maybe she'll see it. But it's Barbie's birthday. Last week was my mom's birthday. This week is Barbie's birthday. Fun, fun. I told you she has me on at work in the background. <laughs> okay, so we, I've got a couple boxes over here and I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, I keep dropping things. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I have no idea what's in these boxes. I brought them in from the car yesterday morning. It was cold, so I didn't wanna jostle them around. So we're just going to go through these boxes together. We are still clearancing out um, old stock. 
right before garage sale season. So excited about the timing. I think that's going to work out well. And let's see what we have got in here. Most everything is probably going to be five or ten dollars. And I'm sorry about the rustling. If it bothers anybody, I can mute every time I go to get something out of here that um, might rustle. Okay. First thing up, and this is perfect timing, is this vintage hat. It does have the little, little combs in here to um, grab onto your hair. There is netting up in here and I think it is perfect for spring. This was the Holly Brothers Company. And I can't try it on for you since I have the blue in my hair. I really wanted this one to look good on me and I just don't think it did. So vintage hat pink straw material perfect for Easter is going to be $10 number six. $10 number six on the vintage hat. And speaking of vintage hats, I've got this one. Now I got this from Perfecting Pearls. Julia, I think was her name. She doesn't sell on YouTube anymore. And I really like it. I just don't, I didn't have the space to keep everything. The flowers are a little mushed. And this is velvet. And it does sit like this on the head. I don't know if there is anything you could do to revive these two flowers up front. They are a tad smushed. $10, number three. Hi, Monica. $10, number three on the purple one. Also good for spring. Okay, next up, I did, I don't remember what price I had this one at before. Gonna offer it one last time. This is the EA Reba Co. Incorporated, Brooklyn, New York. This is velvet on the back. There is velvet on here. And then it's got these cameos, which are metal on what looks like leather. And it used to have, you know, the screw and hook on top but you can't hang it this way, which is how I had it hung. It's this big. If you want to know a size, I can tell you. I can tell you right now. I've got my measuring tape here. Twelve and a half inches by four inches. And this one is going to be Five dollars, number twenty-one. Five dollars, number twenty-one. Next up, this set of coasters, and these came from a bank, but it is almost completely faded. It was in silver. I think it was a bank. I cannot read that. Yes, make big money with little bonds. Oh, it's Aetna, life and casualty. So Aetna insurance. I love the colors on this. This reminds me of my childhood. 70s right here, love it. But as you can see, most of 
the wording has worn off of these. I just think they're super, super fun. Set of four stacking coasters. And they are five dollars. Picked up two cards. Five dollars, number forty. Five dollars, number forty. Checking to make sure that you guys can see me okay. Think we're all right. Next up, two, three, four, five. it is a set of six random coasters. So the first one is Florida, the Sunshine State. Nope, five coasters, five coasters, sorry. And this aluminum goose. These do need a cleaning because I actually did use these. The deer, this one's also aluminum. Florida. I love that these coasters look like the big um, trays. And then this last one is just plain. What does it say? Oh, Irvin Wear, made in the USA. So, set of five coasters. All of them metal. Those are going to be five dollars for five coasters. Thirty number thirty four. Number thirty four. Clear glass. I'm feeling for chips. I don't see any chips or feel any. Oh, maybe slightly rough spot right there. This is really pretty. I kept brooches in it. It's got this sawtooth edge. Three compartments. It's this size. And it is going to be Five dollars, number twenty. Five dollars, number twenty. Next up, I don't know if you guys remember this, but it is two decks of cards. And this came from the Mansfield Flooring Company incorporated and belong to Joseph J. Zimmerman. And then inside are the instructions to Shanghai Rummy. And I don't, I think all of them are here. I counted when I first bought them. Now I don't remember. And the cards. Here's what the cards look like. So one set's blue, one set's red. In this faux leather. Oh, snap it back together. Okay, there we go. So much fun. Five dollars, number 19. Five dollars, number 19. Next up 
is this apron. This one is handmade. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see it. There's the pocket. And this one's a nice size. I am not a thin woman and I can use this one. So red and black checked, well, red and white checked with black um, details on it. Really pretty. This one is going to be $5, number 10. Hi, Kathy. $5, number 10. Next one is a hostess apron. It's a little red lace hostess apron. This one is not as wide around. And I would say machine manufactured, most likely. This one as well will be $5, number 33. $5, number 33. I got this from another reseller. I absolutely love it. It doesn't quite match. Everything I use in my kitchen is pastels. So... It is the size of the top of a um, card table, but it doesn't go over the edges, just that size. And it has, well, it's upside down, has these embroidered fruits and each one is different. I just love it. And you are getting a good deal on this today because I paid more than $10 for this. So if you're just coming in, today is Barbie's birthday. Make sure you say happy birthday to Barbie. And this, it's like a warm salmon pink. I don't even know how to describe the pink. But oh, these are amazing. Oh, I love them, you guys. It's just $10 today. $10, number 17. $10, number 17. Okay, this was the 1988 Romeo and Juliet. Oh, and Chris is going to take the tablecloth. Let me write that down. Thank you, Chris. And this is, um, it's crafted in rose carnelian Incole stone at the Incole Studios of California, USA. It's a limited edition. It's got its Radex number on the back. It's a very cool material. For this to be made out of st stone, I just love it. $5, number 31. $5, number 31. And if you came in and I missed you coming in, hello, welcome. Thanks for being here. $5, number 31 on that. And our altered book prompt for last week was words that inspire you. This was my page. And then this week's prompt is use the word strong to inspire a page. Use the word strong to inspire a page. And last year I took that one literally and I did a whole bunch of 
words that meant strong, I think. I have a different idea for this year. Okay. Next up, a couple of 1930s, 1940s kitchen utensils. This one is a biscuit or donut maker. And then this one is a, a lid loosener. Both in that green. And both pieces are just $5, number 28. $5, number 28. Is anybody having spring weather? Because we absolutely are not here in Ohio having spring weather. We are not. Okay, next up is this leaf bowl. And I do believe it's crystal. But this color is painted on. This is not colored glass. So there are some spots where it is coming off. It's this size. $5, number 29. $5, number 29. But Kathy, that wind yesterday, I haven't been outside today, that wind yesterday, if I had not had to go and get the last of my stuff out of the old house and take a carload to volunteers with my brother, it was his only time available to do it, I would not have left the house yesterday. Ooh. I did not enjoy that weather at all. Next up, I got this, ew, Chris has snow, Ugh, it's even worse. I got this book from the trusty Huckster Mercantile, I don't know, 2020, 2021. It's a very, very cool um, book. Images from around the world. This one was um, does it say? Oh, he had some ephemera in here too. Nineteen fifty nine. So around the world in 2000 pictures it's from 1959 and then he had included a rye bread recipe um, creamy nut filling frosting caramel frosting quick butterscotch frosting cake frosting poultry stuffing, and chicken a la Maryland. <laughs> so I'm going to put those back in the book. They will come with the book. And um, he had these stamps in there. So I will leave those in there and you will get those with the book. Was that all that was in there? Yeah. I did not look up the price on any of this stuff. We're just trying to move along all of, all of the old stock and things that I just don't have room for or haven't used. So guys, it is only going to be five dollars five dollars number 35 for the around the Wor world in 2000 pictures book with a little bit of ephemera in it
Next up. Oh, this is so pretty. Let me find, find the lid. Now this is big, but oh, and Chris is going to take the book. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. I'm going to move it. Still trying to work out my space, guys. <laughs> I know it's just awkward and weird and I miss my big desk. This gorgeous decanter, gorgeous. So it is, I'll tell you how tall it is. Fourteen inches tall with the stopper in. It is etched. The handle, the pour spout, the topper is glass as well. It's just, it's so gorgeous, you guys. Beautiful. This was in my display where I had the different colored waters and all of the vintage decanters. Um, it's stunning. It just is. <laughs> it is going to be $10, number two. $10, number two. And here's a close-up on the stopper again. I'd love to be fancy enough to, like, serve um, wine out of this. $10, number two for the gorgeous decanter. Oh, I'm gonna set that over there carefully. I at one point looked these up and now I don't remember. I don't know if they're soup pots. I would think they're soup pots. So I don't know who made them, but they've each got a lid and they've got a handle. The white one and then the green one. No chips, no cracks. And they aren't like like big, like super big. This is their size. Hi Donna. Happy spring, Donna. But you'll get both of them, the white and the green, for five dollars and number thirty-two. Five dollars, number thirty-two. Good morning, Alice. You guys, it's Barbie's birthday. Five dollars, number thirty-two. And she most likely has me on quietly in the background at work. So if she can't answer you back, it's because she's at work but you can tell her happy birthday. She was in the chat earlier. Okay. And then lastly, and I do think this might've been made by the same maker. Oh, Jassy is gonna take those. Awesome. Now I've lost my pen. Oh, there's. Thank you, Jazdia. I think this is a gravy boat. I think it is by the same maker, 
but um, it's a totally different color of green. So I don't know. It's unmarked, just like the green and the white are unmarked. So little gravy boat. Oh, how fun, Barbie. My sister and I were just talking about, oh, maybe it was my niece and I were talking about throwing axes. We have a place around here where you can do that. $5 for the gravy boat, number 24. $5, number 24. And that is everything, you guys. I, last week, I um, did go ahead and get a static sale up after the live um, in the afternoon. And I showed new things at the beginning and then showed everything that I'd had for sale in the live again for people that wanted to stick around and watch it all. So I might do that again today. So I might um, put some new things at the beginning of a static video and then review everything that we just went over this morning at the end of that video. So if you missed it, catch that later. Or you can always rewatch the live later too. Um, that's all for today. This weather being so cold. Not good for my bones. They are not happy about it. So I hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody is staying warm. And... I will see everybody later. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here today. It was a short one, but thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.